Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. And if you remember we were teaching you about crafting in the last video, and this video what I actually want to do is go out and try to hunt. Well, not really hunt, but almost defend myself. See if this tribe or this troop or family of apes has got enough about it now to actually go and defend itself. Now we haven't got absolutely everything yet. Um, one of the things that I've learned since last time that we played is how to actually make a paste to stop you from bleeding, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. So let's just do the morning routine. You've got to get breakfast first. It's always important to start on a healthy breakfast. So we've got to drink this water. I'm going to drink quite a lot. It seems to be working. So quite a lot of water there. There we go. Good water. Good water. And then we're going to get some berries from over here. This is our morning routine that I've got going for him at the minute. I'm sure he's going to want better things. Like he's going to eventually want like, you know, fish and meat and things like that. So we've kind of got to learn to get that. Now, let's just get a stick. If I can get a stick, get us a stick. There we go. Now, we can manipulate the sticks. We can swap hands now. There we go. So now we have got an actual stick. Now, I've also learned how to make a chopper. A basalt chopper. If we go this way. This is the way. There's some rocks over here called basalt. Or basalt. I don't even know how it's pronounced. But I think it's basalt. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to put the stick down here just a second. So let's just put you down there. Right, now let's just have a look. Now these are liftable rocks which I know about. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Grab the stick. And let's go and get this basalt. So I'm just going to put the stick like there. That'll do. Right, so we need one of these. Here's a basalt rock. Change that over. And there should be another one somewhere. Where's another basalt rock? Is that it? Are we low on basalt rock? Grab. There we go. So, I think I've inspected this already, but I'm going to try again just, just to be sure. Yeah, he already knows about this. He's quite happy with himself, look. Right, okay. So, we have to knock these together, but I'm going to have to listen out for like a little clicking noise. So, just, you have a listen at the same time. There. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, we, we kind of messed that up. Let's just do that again. If you do it too far, just even once, it breaks it. So, you've got to be really careful with this. There we go. That's what I wanted. So now we've actually got... Damn it, I've just dropped the wrong one. We've actually got a basalt chopper. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe it's basalt. Okay, so let's pick that up and let's inspect it. And this actually makes crafting weapons much, much easier. There we go. There's a chopper. And that is like the start of early tools, I'm guessing. So let's see if we can pick this stick up now. Have we got to switch hands again? Okay, switched hands, grabbed... Now, we should be able, we should be able to chop this up much, much easier and make a spear. So, here we go. Look at that. It only took three hits to actually get the spear this time, which is much, much better. So, what we're going to do now, we're actually going to go out and see if we can hunt something. Or at least kind of defend ourselves. Maybe catch something, I don't know. But we're going to take this chopper out with us and see if this actually helps us. Now, I don't know if you can do that with any rock. I don't know if it's just the basalt you can do it with. I've not tried it with obsidian or anything else yet. But I know the basalt one's meant to be, like, the best one. So that's what we're going with. Oh, wait. I need to take one of the little ones out with me. Taking the little babies out with you actually helps. Because it helps you learn things quicker. So, yeah, here you go. You come with me. You get on. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Okay, so he's going to come with us. Alright, so we're heading out into the wild to, to, to kind of pick a fight, I guess, almost. Okay, now I've got a little spot that I usually leave the oasis from, which is here. This is like my usual spot. Come on, come on. Because all the trees are quite close together. And although I'm not perfect at it yet, I am getting better at climbing. I'm going to try and make that jump. I don't know if I can make it. Yes, check that out. There we go. And we've got coconuts to get, but we're going to get them on the way back, I think. Now, the good thing about the spiky stick is that we can spot fishing spots like this. There we go. And we should be able to fish in here. Now, let me just put my... Let me just put the rock down here. So, there you go. I'm going to put my chopper there. Damn it, it's rolling to the water. It should be all right there, right? So, let's change hands. 
And we should be able to fish here. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Fishing with the sharpened stick, because we can. Alright, here we go. So let's change that over. I think we've already... Uh... Oh, I need to switch hands again. Okay. I think I've already eaten one of these already. Whatever fish this is. Or is it a catfish? A bass? New food discovery. Bass. <laughs> Alright. So now we can actually get this bass off here. A lot of this game's about timing, so it's all about actually getting the right timing on things and making sure that you're you listening out for the clicks. Okay, that's it. Is that enough of that? Okay, let's put the fish down. Let's get the the chopper again, and let's get out there. So we're looking, we're looking for fights right now, and seeing what we can find, and then maybe we'll get a coconut on the way back. I mean, if we could find another stick, that would be great. Okay, I'm not seeing very much right now. It doesn't help that it's cold. We could do with finding some of the leaves while we're out here. Oh, wow. Jeez, look at the weather. I mean, I must admit, the weather effects in this game are great. I know some people have complained about the graphics, saying that the graphics are dumbed down to what they thought it was going to be. But you've got to remember, this is quite a small development team. This is not a big team that they've actually got here. So let's have a see if we can smell. So let's stand up. Stand up, and let's start smelling around. Can we see anything that's like... We've got a few smells down there, look. Let's have a look what they are. So, X to focus. Okay, yeah, there's not a lot here, I don't think. Nothing that we can fight just yet. Okay, but there are some sticks here, so that's good. Right, let's keep on venturing then. So, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And here we are in our little adventure. Looking for trouble, which is pretty much what we're doing right now. I think this was a hiding spot from before. Maybe. Okay, so it's definitely cold right now, but we can't find any sort of leaves. But there's another branch there. If we can find some red leaves... Oh, what is that? A snail? Let's just put you down there, rock. Pick up snail. Alright, this is new. Can I eat this? New food discovery. Giant African snail. Let's try it. No. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. We've took a bite. You know, we, we've got we've got a bit of health back. Oh, look. So this is this like a, a thing we can search? Oh, so this is a new place. So what is this? New landmark discovery. The Cliff Cascade. So this is all part of our territory. It's within our territory anyway. Okay, I can hear growling. That doesn't sound... That does not sound like an ape's growl, does it? Okay, so we've got the cliff cascade there. Oh! Oh, damn it! Look what it is! Um, Alright, have I still got the stick? I have. Come on then, dude. Let's do this. Oh, I hit him with the rock. <laughs> Alright, where's my stick? Oh, I've still got the stick. Alright, where'd he go? I'm chasing him. <laughs> Probably not wise chasing one of these things. If you're in real life, guys, you know, don't chase a saber-tooth whatever it is across the across the map. We are actually bleeding as well. Where did he go? Yeah, you will run. You will run. Okay, so where's back home? I don't, I'm totally lost now. Right, so back home's that way, so we were headed this way. Okay, I guess we go. Now, we're still bleeding, but we can fix that. And I will show you how in a second. These... Oh, snake! Alright, I'm going to attack it. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's two hits! Oh my god, how are we not poisoned? Did we get it? Is it dead? Oh, he's still moving. Jeez, we're nearly dead, though. Come on, don't go anywhere. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> so we killed an African python. But we are bleeding out, and we're not, in a good sp we're not in a good position right now. That's right. That's right. Good. Okay, now, can I... I think I can carve this open somehow. I've still got my chopper. Good. I've not dropped anything. We've got the snake here, so if I can put something down. 
Okay, I want to pick the chopper back up. No, not you. Oh, do you know, I know you're hungry, dude, but come on. Okay, well, where's the chopper gone? There is a, there is a saber-toothed lion tiger thing wandering around here. It's probably not good, and I've just put both my tools down. Okay, there's my stick. Where did I put the other one, though? Oh, there it is. Now, look, I think... So I can inspect this then. Oh, there we go, look. We are just bleeding out here, but it's okay. Do you know, we have fought, an, we have fought some sort of giant cat. Gathering spot. All oh, right, now we're talking butcher. <laughs> oh, and we've got the basalt chopper as well. So this is perfect for butchering. That is disgusting. Oh. So now I'm guessing we can eat snake meat. Maybe I can put the things down on here. Maybe this would be a better spot. Let's just put these down here. Let's have a look at what we've got here. What can I pick up? Look, grab. So this is snake meat. <laughs> New food discovery. Oviparous meats. Let's try some of that. Mmm. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. Let's put that down. It's just going to make us ill. We don't need any of that. Okay, now we could do with getting down near the river to kind of heal ourselves. Oh, but not the swampy type bit of river. We need to go back to the... Uh, right, okay, where's the where's base? So, so our home's over that way. So we need to go back that way just to get to the main bit of river and not swamp water. Okay, I can definitely hear things I don't want to hear. Okay, so this looks like where the river runs in. And there are real things, like real threats down here, like crocodiles and things like that. But one thing I love about this game is, you know, you can die. You know, dying's a real thing in this game. Well, not real life. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, now I think this is the stuff that's going to heal us. No, it's not. Oh, there it is. Look, I'm looking for this, like, spongy type plant here. So let's put these things down where I can see them. It's always good to put things down where you can still get them. So we'll put them down there. Now what I can do is I can grab this. I can manipulate this so I can move this into my other hand. And I can alter it. Now watch this. See, you've got, you've got to get it just right. Now I can inspect. No, I can't inspect it. So can I, can I change hands with that? Oh, it didn't work. All right, I've got to do it again. So switch hands. Yes, I got it this time. I got it this time. So switch hands and inspect. Jesus, I thought it was something like really bad near as it was a frog. So now that we've got this, we can actually make... Look, so I can apply this onto me and this will stop the bleeding. Which is great. And drinking the water is going to get rid of that poison. So we've actually healed ourselves while we're out. Look, and I can eat this as well. This will just help with broken bones and stuff. Nom. There we go. And then we're going to get some water to drink. Now, so far, I've not seen anything super deadly in the water. So far. And look, we're all actually back to good health now. We've eaten. We've got water. We've healed the bleeding. And we've killed a snake. And if and repelled an attack from some sort of giant lion thing. Um, okay, switch hands. Now, what we've got to do is get this guy home. If we can... I say guy home. Is it a guy? It is. It's Yat. The adult male yat. Okay, so let's look around. Okay, so there's home. That's where we're headed. So let's focus. Remember, right, that's where we're headed. Hopefully we're not going to run into anything else now. I think we've seen what we need to see. But if we do run into something else, you know, we can actually defend ourselves now. We know what we're doing. We are a bad ape right now. Okay, and we've fished as well. We've done, like, everything what we need to do. Maybe we can get a coconut on the way back in exchange for a stick. So I don't think I've had coconuts with this tribe yet, and I won't mind showing you guys just what they look like. So up we go. Now, there's a really good tree to go up to get home, and I, never, I always forget which one it is. But, you know what? Let's look for a coconut tree. Camera's really close up. That's one thing I would change on this. The camera angle's a little bit near sometimes. Um... Okay, not seeing any coconut trees right now. Let's just keep looking around a minute. Because we're just about home anyway. It's up this cliff face where home is. So we're actually in a good spot. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. So I'm going to put this stick down here. 
There we go. Sticks down. And I'm going to climb up this tree and we should see coconuts up it. You can always tell the coconut trees by the actual trunks. They've got like these little flake things on them almost. So let's go and get one coconut. Alright, good. And then we're going to go up this tree. I think this is the tree that I'm talking about. And this should get us home. We can tell all the people what snake meat tastes like. <laughs> This ape's going to get back to the tribe and he's going to be like, you've got to try snake meat. It's so good. There we go. And I think we're, well, I think we're back here now. This is home. We're going to eat some coconut before bed. That's going to be his supper. <laughs> A coconut supper. Oh, the life we lead. Okay. Oh, I cannot see. Come on, camera angle. Work with me now. Okay, it's not letting the camera move for some reason. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. So swap hands and then we can inspect this. Oh, the camera's moving again. There we go. And then we can drink the coconut milk. I don't know if it gives you any sort of pot, uh, different qualities. But the good thing is you could start, you could go and collect coconuts as one of your little side missions if you wanted. Oh, look, it's like an anti-venom and it helps with poisoning. Useful. So let's lay down. Let's put little boyo down here. And let's just have a look if we can evolve much more. So lie down and we're just going to evolve. Oh, look. Look at his little brain. Look at all that. All that we've got to actually still use. So we can only lock some of these in if you remember. So I can lock two of these in. Okay, I can lock that in. Can't lock that in yet. I can lock that in though. No, I haven't done. Nope. Okay, let's have a look what this does for us then. Acute stress response. Once connected, the time for both escapes and attack will increase. Good. So let's get some of that. Could have done with that before we went though. Hold A to prime a counter-attack. Yeah, we know that. That's what we've just been doing. Alright, that is good. I think that's everything that we can learn. Oh, there's something up here. What's this? Okay, assign neural energy to an initiate how dexterity will improve. Once connected, the success rate for using the tool will successfully increase. Alright, let's get that as well. Now, we can only lock in a couple of these per generation. I saw somewhere saying you can only lock in two, but I've locked in like five before. So, I'm not sure what the official number is on that just yet. Let's just try. So, we can lock in two. So, I could lock in, say, for example, this. Um, oh, that is it so far. Okay, we need to, like, do more. If we're going to do that. So, let me just put the... What have I got in my hands here? So I've got the actual tool, so we're going to drop that there. Just so other apes can use it if they need to. And then there we can actually call it. But guys, that's it. So I thought I just wanted to go out and actually, you know, cause a bit of trouble. See if we could defend ourselves now, which we actually can. Which for an evolution, from an evolution perspective, is quite a big deal. Do you know, being able to take yourself off the bottom of the food chain is actually a decent little thing. So guys, massive thanks for watching. I'm going to be playing more of this because I absolutely love it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.